Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for October the 30th until November the 7th. So I will do a split Divine Partnership reading. And these, of course, my cards. Okay, so beginning with how the masculine sees the connection or this relationship with the feminine. High priest. So this is someone who is a spiritual leader who obviously is very conscious. The crown chakra is wide open. So not only does he have a lot of wisdom um, that he would like to share with others, but he sees this connection as illuminating him. So... Um, you know, there's, there's almost a sense of a desire to, to become a leader, you know, a spiritual leader or to share, um, his wisdom, but definitely, you know, that's what twin flame connections are all about. It's not necessarily coming together in union. It's all about, you know, growing in consciousness. So this card also, I like to see it as a masculine offering support you know, for the feminine, um, you know, saying I'm, I'm not there with you in the 3D, but I am there with you in the 5D, so definite um, higher consciousness at play. So what is he resisting? Kurt Cobain, the King of Cups, so he's resisting, you know, communicating love, uh, expressing love, showing love. Um, and you can see that definitely in the twin flame connection, you know, with the lower chakra, the emotional chakra, um, the sense of distrust, um, but it was all around emotions. And so, although he feels d deep love in his heart, um, he's afraid to express himself or he's resisting expressing himself. So a message from higher self six of swords so the feminine had this in the recent past so he is reflecting on um perhaps the moment in in the past where the feminine masculine parted ways or his higher self is is telling him to make amends um but you know if there's a feeling of something's being left up in the air you know the, the air needs to be cleared so um, not only is this moving to a calmer state, but I really feel that, you know, the higher self, the masculine's higher self is, is pointing to something in the past. Let me just pull a clarifier. So these, this is another little deck that I made here. So they basically just have, um, word, words on them. So, um. And actually, let me just reverse some of these because there is a reverse meaning for the cards. What do you mean by the Six of Swords? Speed up. Okay, so there's possibly, you know, a feeling of, you know, I need to do something, you know, like a quickening. There's like, um, acceleration if I don't do something if I don't say something if I don't find some peace it's almost like something's going to explode perhaps or his higher self is telling him to to take action I'm not too sure but let's see what the rest of the reading says okay so the past position is the high priestess very nice the high priest and high priestess so there's a partnership, a union, a 5D spiritual union connection between the two aspects. Um, and so the high priestess is somebody who is highly intuitive, um, psychic abilities, is able to see through, you know, the darkness, um, tap into the subconscious mind. And she uses that wisdom, you know, the mistakes that she's made, you know, the lessons learned in order to guide her so she also um, offers others assistance and guidance so this is also the feminine in, in the 5d offering support to the masculine so there's a definite divine 
connection here that's being recognized by the masculine. Okay, so um, the present position is the base chakra. So this is the lowest chakra. This is a feeling of safety, security, sustenance, and grounding. There's no safety here whatsoever. You know, he doesn't feel safe enough to to express himself, to show love um, unconditionally. You know, it's almost like he's guarding his heart and he he's retreating, but his higher self is telling him, you know, not to, it's almost like don't run away, um, move forward, not backward. So let me just pull one card from my deck for that. What do you mean by the base chakra spirit, please? challenge. So there's an obstacle, something standing in his way. And when you think back to the twin flame reading that I just did, um, he got the seven swords in the present moment. So this is not being able to trust somebody, feeling like somebody's lying to you, you know, stabbing you in the back, um, not telling you the entire truth. So for the masculine as a collective, they're not only dealing with emotional um, challenges, but also a sense of safety and security. Okay, so the future position is the Three of Wands. Well, that's good to see. So, you know, this is a masculine coming out of that lower vibration, feeling more positive. This is a thumbs up from spirit. So this is... Um, being on the right spiritual path, so it's like he's stumbling, he falls, he gets back up and brushes off the dirt and continues on his journey. Um, this is also starting to see the fruits of your labor, um, you know, per putting work and effort into creating something and seeing the payoff, but knowing there's still more work to do. So I'm going to pull one additional card from my deck, sun card, very nice. So that's the most po positive card in the deck. So it is illumination. Uh, the mountain had the moon in the near future. So that is very conflicting energy. As a final outcome, he has um, the King of Pentacles with the 1111 card. So he needs to move through this darkness, this fear, um, to finally reach this illuminated state, this beautiful, exciting new adventure, new beginning, a sense of freedom. Um, manifestation right it's return to innocence and freedom not having those attachments those fears you know holding you back okay so the message from the universe is the page of wands so this is a, a messenger so either the universe is telling him to communicate or the universe is sending him messages synchronicity signs that are exciting him you know so um, he has realizations, epiphanies. You can see there's a sense that he is aware of a beautiful life that he can have, something that's emotionally fulfilling, something that is exciting and connects him spiritually, but he just doesn't feel that at the moment. So I feel strongly that the universe is, tell is telling him or encouraging him to begin anew right with the sun is a new beginning it reduces down to one and then the page of wands is somebody who would go on an adventure feel that freedom that excitement um, of that new beginning it's very similar energy to the full card okay so what's in his external environment whoa ten of swords so he feels um, something is ending a dark night of the soul and so the seven of swords you know, is a sense that something is coming to completion. Something needs to be cut away. And so either that this is a feminine ending something, you know, and the masculine is picking up on that. Um, and it could be her ending it with the masculine, completely cutting him out of her life. Um, because we see that kind of energy here, right? In a sense of insecurity, like, you know, this is a one, right? So it's... Um, something is being cut away and ending and it's causing this dark night of the soul this feeling of emptiness but it is over it's done uh so from this is the ace of swords right which is a crowning energy for the twin flame reading 
So there's a sense that there is a decision that is made for a new beginning, but um, fear is still playing with the masculine, is holding him back possibly. Okay, so what is a masculine fear? Two of swords, not surprised. So this is indecision, needing to make a choice, having two um, you know, roads to go down and both have far-reaching consequences and because they're so important he can't make that decision he fears making that decision so he's always going to be stuck at this intersection this crossroad so he fears possibly you know that if he doesn't move forward if he doesn't speed things up they're going to end or it's almost like two steps forward one step back is what i'm feeling here it doesn't matter what he chooses um there is fear and doubt at the end of that road but ultimately the universe is encouraging you you know saying look at all this bright beautiful um abundance and life that's in your future um maybe put down you know that that choice maybe the choice isn't yours to make because it feels like something is ending in your external environment and if it's ending then it's meant for your higher good right so all right so the bottom of the deck is wow the tower so this is a sudden change disruption it comes in like a bolt of lightning and it tears down illusions anything built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down so there is going to be some sudden changes that are going to make the masculine feel very um you know take away that sense of um groundedness and safety and security right it's almost like these two cards are a perfect mirror of the tower so overall there will be some endings um for the masculine and ultimately it is leading to this brand new beginning okay so you can't stop the chat the tower the tower comes whether you're ready for it or not um and so yeah i'll be the conscious observer behind the tower as if it's not happening to you as if it's happening to somebody else right and stay hopeful and ex excited um about the future be optimistic about the future because you know it's looks amazing all right so let me think here i think i might pull a card from the osho zen i haven't used this for a while so what is the final messages for the masculines please okay wow king of swords <clears throat> so um this is somebody who's closed off, unemotional. You know, they've created a wall around themselves. Um, it could represent an air sign as well, but I'm trying to stay away from zodiac signs. Whoa, whoa, sorry about that, guys. Let me just pause it for a second. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so the King of Swords. There is a time and a place for control, but if we put it in charge of our lives, we end up totally rigid. The figure in this encase sorry, the figure is encased in the angles of a pyramid shapes that surround him, like glitters and glints off his shiny surface, but does not penetrate. It is as if almost it is as if he is almost mummified inside the structure he's built around himself. His fists are clenched and his stare is blank, almost blind. The lower part of his body beneath the table is knife point, a cutting edge that divides and separates. His world is ordered and perfect, but is not alive. He cannot allow any spontaneity or vulnerability to enter. The image of the king of clouds reminds us to take a deep breath, loosen our neckties, and take it easy. If mistakes happen, it's okay. If things get a little out of hand, it's probably just what the doctor ordered. There is much much more to life than being on top of things all right so there's a sense here that the masculine is really trying to hold on to order right so much so that he's you know cutting things out of his life that is you know something that you know here we have his he's kind of 
hiding his heart behind this suit of armor, right? It's like I'm not allowing you to, not allowing you in. But ultimately, <clears throat> you cannot stop the tower, right? It comes whether you're ready for it or not. So whatever is going to happen will happen in the masculine's best interest. So, um, I don't really want to leave it there. It's, I like to leave things on more of a positive note. And these readings seem to be really heavy this week. You know, the, the masculine needs to make a choice. Things seem to be ending, causing him to feel unsafe, even though he knows that this connection is a spiritual, spiritual one, right? A divine connection. Okay, so see chariot. Okay. Once I rode a passive babe at the mercy of those around me, a defenseless child with demeanor so mild as to encourage complacency. Yet, as time passed by and endeavored to try a temperament, a temperament more becoming, so I grabbed the reins and I've made great gains as a charioteer commanding. A white-haired beauty rides upon a chariot pulled by curious fishes. She is optimistic in control and the captain of her destiny. Though young and inexperienced, she's prepared to take command and forge her own path. And immediately I, I thought of um, that song by Radiohead, uh, strange fishes. I'll put a link below. Um, so, the meaning. Assert control. It is time for you to assert control. You have given the reins over to others in too many areas of your life. It is time to grab them back. Take stock of all arenas of your life, your profession, your per personal relationships, monetary considerations, group associations, and home obligations. Determine where you are dissatisfied with your level of involvement and make a plan to take back control. It is perfectly acceptable and desirable to trust others to help you with some aspects of your life, but it is up to you and you alone to make sure that this help does not turn into dependence. You are the sole captain of your ship. You need to be at the helm when and where it matters the most. So what I'm seeing there very strongly is being that observer, you know, um, I feel this wave of change coming in and it's almost like the masculine tries to, you know, create this barrier, um, to protect himself, but ultimately he lets it go and takes control, right? Instead of not allowing the outside world to come in, he he moves towards that thing that he desires right and it's like wow excitement and goodness all right so i hope this helped i love you guys peace oh yeah um thank you for the like shares and please show your love by subscribing all right cheers